Hey everybody, welcome to another Pro Acoustics Tech Talk. I'm Nathan, and today we're going to be talking all about how mono summing works in 70 volt systems. All right, so when I say the word stereo, a lot of people think that we mean like studio quality sound, like what you hear uh, coming out of your, uh, your phone when you're listening to your favorite music streaming source or what you hear on the radio. Um, but what stereo actually means is different musical content coming out of the left and right speaker differently. Uh, so basically in, um, in most modern music, there's gonna be some kind of panning. Panning refers to moving um, a particular input to say a, le a left channel or a right channel for the purpose of kind of like space. Uh, so, you know, kind of the idea is, is that, um, you know, if I'm um, mixing a drum set in a, in a um, recording environment, I might put the hi-hat, uh, you know, kind of on the left where, you know, the drummer, the right-handed drummer may have his hi-hat. Um, or I may, uh, you know, have a keyboard that moves from uh, left to right. So that's kind of how stereo works, but it doesn't necessarily mean that the sound quality is better or worse. Um, I used to be a touring audio engineer, so, you know, I would do this a lot. You know, sometimes your guitar player on this side of the stage, you'd move the image over there. You know, you'd pan his guitar here, or you'd pan the other guy over here. Um, and it kind of gives like a big kind of spatial uh, perspective of everything that's going on. Um, versus mono means that everything is coming out of the same speaker. Both guitar players coming out of both sides. That makes sure that everybody in the entire space can hear everything that's going on. Um, so in a 70 volt system, you know, it's gonna be installed in a commercial space. You know, it's gonna be in a restaurant, it's gonna be in a hotel, it's gonna be in an office. Uh, we actually don't want stereo because we want all the musical information coming out of every speaker. Uh, say for instance, if you're sitting at a restaurant and there's a pendant speaker directly over your head, um, when you're listening to that speaker, you wanna make sure that you're actually hearing all of the musical information. Uh, if you were listening to say like an old uh, Bob Dylan record or an old Doors album like my dad used to listen to, they used to be pretty aggressive about panning. You might only have like bass and drums out of one side and keyboards and guitar and another or that kind of thing. So if you're sitting underneath that speaker and you're only hearing the left channel, you're completely missing out on whatever's going on in the right channel. Um, also, if you're walking through the space, now you're going to be hearing different imaging uh, wherever you go and things can get a little bit confusing versus the same source, the same music everywhere. Um, we also want to kind of contrast that with a home audio system. In some spaces you might have um, a home audio system that's playing music in a retail store or a restaurant. Um, those systems are definitely done with panning in mind because if you're watching a movie, you know, there may be a train that goes across the screen or a character may come running out from one side or another. Um, if we use those kind of systems in a commercial environment, we also have the same issue of we're hearing different information out of different speakers. So instead, that's why we uh, sum all of the information mono inside of a 70 volt system. That's actually done internally inside of the amplifier. Like on one of our MA series mixer amps from Pure Resonance Audio, you'll see stereo sources, you know, a red and a white RCA, but you're only going to have one output coming out of it. That's because it's actually going to sum the information inside of the mixer amp and output from a single output. Um, now that's not the same as just taking your left channel and your right channel and smacking it on top of each other. Uh, for the purpose of this, um, this uh, video here, I'm not going to get too in-depth in that, but uh, there's actually a lot of uh, transformers and balancing and whatnot that's done internally to make it to where that sounds as good as it's supposed to be inside of all mixer amps also. But the basic idea is left and right channel go in, sum to mono, mono out of the amplifier, you can then go mono into a volume control. You're not going to find a left and a right in a 70 volt volume control. Then you're going to output from that to your speaker and then daisy chain for the rest of the zone like we've talked about before. That makes sure that all your speakers play the same information in all areas and that you give a more cohesive um, musical experience in your space.